What is going on, guys? It is Trader Cause. Welcome to another episode of Kicking It With Cause, another recorded episode because I am still out of town. Gonna make this one short and sweet because it seemed like you guys really liked the format of the last one. So we're gonna try and uh, keep working with that for a bit. So shooting for under 10 minutes. Um, so let's see what we get. Since the last video, Bitcoin has put in two green daily candles. Um, looking pretty good, but to me, it still just looks like we have lower or higher time frame consolidation. Uh, I still kind of expect us to continue to range for a bit. Um, I think this move still has more legs to it, so we will um, dive into that. But overall, high time frame structure looks fine. Um, this is the play that I tweeted a while back. I actually tweeted it when we were somewhere around here. Um, I was basically outlining how well of a pivot this uh, Monday's mid-range was um, and that a flip of the mid-range and the monthly open would be a great opportunity to get long. So then yesterday I tweeted out somewhere here that I'm longing Bitcoin and we pretty much went straight up since the entry. So that, that one is playing out pretty well, um, targeting 40K, 39.9, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then targeting 42, these highs around 42K. So uh, that's the current long position that we are in for Bitcoin. And I'm actually interested in adding if we get the chance to. Um, I want to point out a daily level that I believe has a good amount of significance. Uh, and it's this low, this daily low right here. Um, if I take this off, if you can see with my cursor, um, it held his resi resistance here, uh, and then here once again, we were unable to close above it, but now we've finally flipped it, and so a retest of that level um, would be a long for me. Um, I think you could get away with a stop loss at this low. I really don't want us to see, um, don't want to see us lose the monthly open, but having a stop loss that tight, you could get wicked out um, before it goes, so, oops. That's kind of playing out. Um, so safer stop loss would be at this 36.8 level because then even if we swept that or whatever, you'd be all right. But I'm pretty much looking for a move into here and then a immediate reaction. Uh, I don't want us to hang around that level for too long. I'd like to see this move up to 40 happening relatively soon. So I actually have that on... This chart, uh, I wanted to talk about the other one first, but so a couple areas of confluence to talk about. Um, we have Monday's high from this week, the monthly open, and then this SR level that I just talked to you guys about on the other chart, all within this section. So uh, I am still long part of my position from here, uh, 37.6, and looking to add at 37.9 if I get a chance, so something like that. First TP at 40K, and then the second one, whoa, second one, let me pull up my old range. We're also right at the mid-range, so that's something to keep in mind, um, at 42.5. So that is the plan with Bitcoin, short and sweet. I am still long, looking to add more to my longs. Um, if we break down below this level, I think the high is in for the week and we will short it down to here. So that's kind of the alternative scenario if uh, if this does end up breaking down because then I think this move would be a fake out above this SR level. Um, so break down here and targeting these two levels if we break down. I do think this holds us support, but if it doesn't and we break all the way below the monthly open, I think a retest at the monthly open, Monday's high, this 37.2 to 37.7 area, I think is a short. So, I'll delete that. Moving on to Ethereum. Um, <clears throat> Ethereum, if we get a sweep up into here and lose the range high, I think that will be a cleaner short just because it's already at that range high. Let me extend this a little bit. 
and you can see we have these three highs right here that remain unswept. Actually, we might have touched them, touched them just a little bit there, but I would like a move above that entire level and then um, look for a short down. So if we spike up to like almost 3,000 and then break below 29.40 or so, I'd look for a short. Also, if we do something like this, I look for a short targeting 2280, you could say, and 2100. Um, otherwise, Ethereum might do something similar to Bitcoin where it just retests the monthly open uh, and pushes up from there. If it does that, I think that's a relatively nice long opportunity up to the range high. But one thing I am slightly uncomfortable with are these lows. We kind of took it, but these look like equal lows to me more or less. So maybe if we spiked those and then got back above the monthly open, that would be a even better opportunity. And that way we have defined risk. Nice target, 1.9R, basically a 2R trade. That is uh, something that I would be interested in taking. Um, let me see if there's anything else I want to talk about. Oh, yeah, we talked about Rune in the stream last week, uh, and it played out pretty much perfectly. We were here looking for another move up and then a retrace into this level, and, I mean, the timing of it or whatever was slightly off, but you can see... We pretty much went perfectly into that zone, rallied up, and now just rejected at the mid-range. So that was a really nice rune play from the previous, uh, not the recorded video that I just posted, but the stream before that. So um, I guess going forward with, with rune, oops. if we're able to flip this mid-range, I think it could be a quick long opportunity up to 17 or so. Um, but we played this entire leg, so I'm not going to get greedy. Um, Soul has been pumping quite a bit. Definitely showing more strength than other coins across the board. I don't know why that's not loading. All right, well, maybe that's... Uh, Maybe that's a sign. All right. I guess we will uh, end the video there. I mean, I pretty much talked about what I wanted to talk about, Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, and then that quick update on Rune. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, this is sponsored by Bybit. If you want to check them out, you can uh, sign up with the link in the description, and that will basically let them know that uh, you guys appreciate these update videos. And also, if you want more of the shorter update videos like this one, around 8 to 10 minutes, uh, then let me know in the comments and we can keep doing more of these. Talk to you guys soon.